what we're going to be doing today, um, before we even get into the lesson, um, greeting students, I hope you're all staying safe, you know, it's your time, we want to make sure that you're all uh, keeping track with your schoolwork and keeping up the pace of the country. Now, what we're going to be doing in this short video session is a quick recap of the topics that we would have covered while we were here and some of the things we would have been doing online. Now, the first topic that we would have looked at through industrial techniques was based on trees. Now, we would have given a general definition for a tree. We know that based on our uses within the field of industrial techniques, we would define a tree as the main source of lumber, right? Now, we further went ahead to look at the structure of the tree. And based on what we had discussed, we know that the tree has three main parts. Just for visual aid, to refresh your memories. Now, if we were to be looking at the tree um, currently, we would notice that starting from the top, we have what we label as the crown, the midsection, which is our main source of lumber, we would label that as the trunk, and the lowest section, which are the found on the ground, known as the root. Now, these are the three main parts of the tree, looking at it from the outward perspective. And we would have identified the main purposes and functions of the crown, the trunk, and the root. Alright? Moving on into even further detail was the cross section of a tree. And we know that when we are thinking of the cross section of the tree, we are technically dissecting the tree, we're looking at it from its internal structure, right? So imagine a lumberjack, right? He went ahead and he cut down this tree for useful purposes. We would be left with a stump right here, right? So the crown is removed and the trunk is removed. Now, looking at this plant, we have no plant. Now, looking at this tree from this perspective, right? So that is our eye view. What we would be seeing is the remains of the tree and its internal structure. Alright? Right. Now, from the outermost part of the tree, we would have our bark, which we know is the protective layer of the tree. We would go further ahead to see our annual ring. And fun fact, we would have discussed that annual rings could be used to um, estimate the age of the tree. So if you were to go ahead and look at the patterns of any piece of lumber that may be around in a given environment, you would realize or you would remember that the annual rings would represent the years of the lifespan of that tree. Right? So annual rings, we would have our medullary rings. Right? Um, our fifth, which is the centermost part of the tree, and the various sections known as the sapwood. 
and heartbeat. Right? While we work here, we went in depth and we looked at the functions and structures of each part or each member of the structure that makes up the tree. Right? Now, after we studied the makeup of the tree, we went further ahead to look at categories of trees. Now, when we say categories of trees, we know that immediately there are two main categories. Now, as we were saying, when we think of categories of trees, we would know immediately that there are two main categories based on what we had discussed. Now, these categories include Hardwood trees and softwood trees. Based on what was discussed, there are several distinctive factors that we can use to differentiate both categories. The hardwood tree, the first thing that we can use to distinguish are or is the shape and structure of the leaves. So let's go to A. Right inside. 